Swagger Soul is an online phenomenon known mainly for his voice, his videos, his comedy, and his funky fellow friends. And for whatever reason, you want to know how to do the Swagger Soul's voice. Let's take some notes. We got the pitch, the deepness of voice, tone, basically sound, accent, the confusing part, and character, pretending to be swagger souls. Pitch and tone. If your voice is like mine, you're going to want to deepen your voice. So try matching your voice with mine, but only the pitch and tone. Do not add the accent yet. It's what I'm talking about. Take 35 bikes, step see a guy, and come on that stage so you can laugh. Right. First topic. It's kind of controversial. Or illegal drugs really that bad? <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. First of all, I want you to know that I am completely against the use of illegal drugs. I know that there are hundreds of senseless deaths. Remember, if I can do this in front of 20 people on a stage, you can do this by yourself in your bedroom. Accent. This is the difficult part. Swaggersouls does not have a named accent. But, try matching the tone of these vowels, and you may get the hang of it. Hey, ee, ay, oh, yo. God, why do you feel extra long? All right, so now try doing the A E I O U, but all together. So like, A I O U, A I O U. They should probably give you a uh, good example of what his accent is. Or you can just watch more Swagger Souls videos and try and get both the characters and the accent down. So yeah, follow those steps, watch Swagger Souls and try and copy what he says because that's how I learned it. And uh, you can watch the rest of this video if it helps you get to know the voice, I guess. But I do highly recommend watching Swagger Souls because that's how I learned. Each year, cross by them, but... People can just be plain crazy when they're high to. But there's one issue which I have mixed emotions about, and that's the use of marijuana. Now, I've read the arguments against its use. Some people have brain dead when they use it. It makes you lose some memories. That's not going to be good when you're driving. There was an article magazine where some woman with bone cancer started smoking it. I supposedly helped ease down the pain a little. The pain pills that she was given by her doctor didn't exactly work. Probably because they were dick tanks. But, uh, one of her friends said, hey, try smoking marijuana. Uh, some people said, hey, it, it helps, it numbs the pain, what not. She believed it, she smoked it, she went crazy, but hey, the pain numbed. They told her she would have to stop or she'd be arrested, and uh, perhaps, uh, and her uh, doctor did not recommend these drugs. But does that seem right? Here's a poor person whose pain was relieved by smoking pot. What pain's it gonna do to anyone else? You're trying to relieve your own pain by smoking marijuana? More power to you. It's the land of the free, am I right? The woman was finally able to somewhat enjoy what litter of her life was left because she forgot to drive a car and smoke a marijuana. But the pain was numbed, and are illegal drugs really that bad for you? I'd say. Probably. <laughs>